This is a reflection uh, done by Father Jim Bessard, who for many years was the director of the Diocesan Office of Liturgy. It simply is, what does it mean when I say I'm going to Mass? I'm going to Mass. This is what I have the courage to do. I'm going to honor the fact that God is God and Lord of Lords, maker of heaven and earth, maker of me and God's own image and likeness. I'm going to honor that and I'm going to join with my brothers and sisters in Christ and I'm going to make attending Mass a priority. And as I enter the church, I'm going to bless myself with the waters of baptism that renews my spirit and reminds me that I am a consecrated, beloved child of God and disciple of Jesus Christ. I'm going to bless myself along with the rest of the community of my brothers and sisters with the formula that I received at my baptism, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I'm going to be greeted by the priest and he's going to remind me of what I already know, that I am a sinner and God is merciful. And I'm going to ask God to forgive me and know that he is the only one who loves me unconditionally that I can count on every day of my life. And like the angels of Bethlehem, I'm going to shout to the roof of that church, glory to God in the highest, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And then the priest is going to pull out of me and he's going to collect whatever my prayer intention is today and I'm going to give it to the Lord God. Then I'm going to climb into the lap of God with my brothers and sisters and listen to the stories of how God saved us, how God loves us, and how God wants us to be our fullest potential. And I'll listen to the priest or deacon, and he's going to help me reconnect to those scriptures that I've heard countless times before but are new today so that I can be a new today disciple. And I'm going to stand up with my brothers and sisters and gladly profess and proudly proclaim what I believe as a Catholic. Then I'm going to place my gift on the altar with the bread and wine, asking God to accept and receive me. Then I'm going to join with my brothers and sisters and dare to ask God to teach me his will in heaven and on earth, and that I may be forgiven in the measure I forgive others, which allows me to say, peace to my brothers and sisters. Then I'm going to ask God once again to take away my sins so that I can profess with my brothers and sisters to the table of life and taste and see the risen Lord so that I may become what I eat and drink. Then we are going to say thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing us together. And I'm going to bow down and get that blessing to be dismissed to be sent, to be the best and fullest disciple I can be, having once again encountered the Son of the living God, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. That's Mass. You'll never say it like, just like, Mass again. At least I hope not. Because we've had the great encounter. We have to remember that I'm not just going to Mass. I'm going to encounter the risen Lord.